Yo, what is up, everybody? It's PSI. Welcome to another video. S&P 500 trading options. Is this the prophesized drop? Look at this. It was up today, and then now it is just shooting down. Um, it's actually kind of crazy that it's all the way down at 553, especially since uh, yesterday we had a, a, a very large drop as well. Like something like $7 around dropping. And then today, uh, out of nowhere, we were green $2. And now we're down $3.50. So that's basically a $5 drop in a time frame of about, um, oops, clicked the wrong thing. A time frame of about an hour and a half. An hour and a half to be exact, actually. So that is just crazy. Um we're going to see what it does. I'm in some puts right now. Um, I lost a, a little bit on calls, but I've already made that and more um, back on these puts that I opened. So that is really nice. Hopefully we can uh, take some profit soon um, when it drops down even further. Let's see what we're looking like in our little statistics over here. High red volume. Our size actually increasing a little bit. Uh, MACD uh, bars are still red. So, I mean, this could have a bounce, but I don't think that that's going to happen just yet. Uh, but but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I, I was not predicting this type of a down drop this uh, d during today's trading day, but like it's, it's happening. So let's just take a look and see what happens. And uh, we're still at 554 right now. But uh, yeah, this this can go down so much further. I'm pretty sure we could drop another 50 cents and then maybe uh, walk away with a couple hundred dollars uh, extra on top of the gains that we've already uh, we've already uh, seen here earlier. Okay, so similar to the bounce that we saw earlier today, um, what time was that? So it bounced off this level over here, this 556.20 um, at 945, and then for 10 minutes it went up. Um, it doesn't look like this will go up for 10 minutes, but we'll, we'll have to see because it hit like the 30-ish mark, and then now it's dancing around 23, uh, but it's super volatile today, like very volatile. So anything can happen here.
All right, dipping below 554 uh, a little bit, testing the waters. Get ready for another $1 drop, baby. Oh, yes. When you are right, you are right. Except when you were wrong at the beginning of the day and then you're trying to correct your mistake uh, and it's just going insane in the other direction. That happens every now and then, which is why you shouldn't put everything uh, into one play right away. Oh, oh yeah. Fantastic. 79, 78. Let's hit new daily lows, baby. What's the daily low? Today's low is 553.26. Oh, we'll have to drop another 50 cents for that. Can we do it? All right, and then we now we skyrocketed it up 50 cents. Great, great. I had a feeling I should have taken some profits. Yeah, it's probably going to dance around this level for the rest of the day. I really don't know. No, it's going back down. So maybe they were trying to shake out the put holders. You can't shake me out if I'm not paying attention. <laughs> All right, back to above $300 profit.
Um, all right, let's take a look at this. Um, all right, cool, bouncing around, cool. That's cool beans. Keep going. Hi, Army. All right, what were we doing? What were we doing? Um, okay, so cool. Still around $250 profit as of right now. It's always subject to change, obviously. Come on, let's see new lows. Drop another 40 cents. You know you want to. What level are we looking for? We're already lower than we have been all week. Uh, looks like in the past month... This was a nice little support range that we got a bounce off of, 543. Um, 543, 543, basically. Yeah, so it looks like 543 was a solid, um, what's it called, support level. I doubt we're going to go all the way down there today. That would be another $10 drop. But um, I'm not seeing where the floor is. So if this downtrend continues, then we're going to be sitting pretty. All right, we finally broke through that little resistance. Uh, they shook out all the put holders that um, that were uh, trying to make some gains, and we're we're dropping. Uh, we we just created a new low. I think I saw five fifty three oh six. Let's see what it says down here. Five fifty three oh six. Wow, I am good. Um, all right, so we are just, just dancing nine cents above the uh, day's low, and uh, yeah, we're just waiting for it to. Uh, Give us the gains that we deserve so much. All right, 04. I think I saw 04. That's a new low. Unless uh, it went below that and I didn't see it. Okay, up 650 bucks. 77%. You know, you can't complain about a 70% day, right? Let me see 552. There it is. Do I just keep holding? I really want to take some profits, like a little bit. Nah, it's going to go down so much lower. What is going on? I guess this was the, the giant red day that everyone was looking for. But you know what? It's not even as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was like a $7 drop. Like, this is not even that bad. 87, 83. All right. Wow, look at it go. Great. Good, good, good. I might hit 100% gains on this uh, strategy here today. What are these at? These are at plus 84%. And then these initial... Things that I got are at 96%. Yep, so we're on our way to 100% profit. Another slight bounce? I don't like that. I don't like that there's multiple little bounces. 
because we just had a bounce like within this past video that I'm still recording right now. All right, if you guys are trying to shake me out, you did a good job because I am not holding on to these 553s any longer. I'm going to sell five of them. Get out of here. Lock in some gains. And wow, it's just dropping so fast I couldn't even fill at 118. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to put so much on the table or leave so much on the table. Wow, that sucks so bad. Sometimes when they drop it, they drop it hard and fast. Uh, I was trying to sell at 118, and now it's at 108. Oh, 105, gosh. They could just be trying to shake it. Like, honestly, those sharp turns, I don't even know if I should worry about it. I already lost $300 of potential profit on that little uptick there. Going from, like, yeah, it went up, like, 60 cents. But that's to be expected. I wonder if it will keep the strength or if it'll just go down even further. Maybe they messed up by doing that. They could have gotten me out at 118, but these are probably going way higher. I, we'll just have to wait and find out now because now it's at the point where I don't want to take profits right away because the chances of it just going vertical and just going completely skyrocketing up to the moon is so low that I'm not worried about like a little increase like that. I am going to get it on a down candle for sure. So they're only hurting themselves. I'm talking to you, market makers. We're already back at the price that I was trying to sell at, and I'm not selling there, so forget you guys. You messed up. How dare you? I want to see new lows now. You cannot shake me out, bro. You can't. I'm not smart enough to be shaken out. 552.75 was the low for today. We are a quarter and a dime away from that, sir. I don't want to hear it. Come on, baby. Come on. The IV is crazy on this. I shouldn't press my luck. Should I? I mean, when you're right, you're right. I will take some profits now. Uh, 5307. Well, let, let, me, let me take a quick, quick look at the chart real quick. How's volume been doing? All right, volume is low. RSI is really down. But we are really deep on the MACD. Still in the Bollinger Bands, though. Yeah, it's going to go below 553. I think maybe then that's where I take some profits. All right, so we, we touched below there briefly. Zero day to expire options are a hell of a ride. All right, the IV has gone down. We're uh, only seeing it like $1.20 now for the 553s. That's actually crazy that these expire today, but they have an um, intrinsic value of zero and an extrinsic value of $1.20. <laughs> All right, I just need one more little downturn. Actually, I think I'm going to set a limit sell let's sell five of these and then let's put the limit at 124 let's get greedy all right so let's get rid of five of those at 124 and see if it takes it already took wow i am impressed i am impressed with that all right so i locked in almost 300 dollars of profit um i sold them at 124 but i did keep one so one is still going um, and now that I got out of five of those, this has free reign to dump even harder because that's just how it works. The market is literally the opposite of me. Wow. And now we're at 91. You know what? I can't be mad because it would not have gone down like this if I had not put that sell order in. I'm convinced that I affect the market directly just based on uh, some of the trades that I've made over the years.
Uh, back up to 553. When I looked away for two seconds. You know what? Maybe that was the peak. How, how high did these go? Well, uh, it was earlier when these got to 139. But you know what? 126 isn't that bad. Uh, I got in these at 75 cents. Where's 75 cents? All right, 76. All right, so that's like a 60% profit. I mean, you know what? You can't you can't be mad at that. Um, I'll just hold this one for now. Not losing very much when it goes down. Uh, we already locked in a bunch of profit. Actually, how much profit did we lock in? <clears throat> so, um, we sold five at one twenty four, and our entry was at seventy five. So one twenty four minus seventy five is gonna be forty nine, and forty nine times five is gonna be fifty times five minus five. So fifty times five minus five is 250 minus 5 is 245. All right, so we made $245 profit on that uh, five contract sale. And we're up 46 on the rest of these. And then we are up 85% uh, of our initial investment, which is $336 on this one. But yeah, so these are almost in the money, actually. So these uh, are break even are uh, 553.69. Uh, so yeah, we are in the money by... These are 555s and it's at 553. So we're in the money by like two, two bucks. So we've got some like 40 something cents intrinsic value, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, as the as the options go more and more into the money, their uh their uh extrinsic value like goes closer and closer to zero. This is probably going to dump so hard. Now I'm kicking myself. Maybe I should have kept the the puts. Oh, well. You can't win them all. I have 61 bucks left to trade today. Do I go super risky and get a 551? No. Maybe I get a call later. 114. All right, the rest of this is just going to be boring. I usually like to close all my positions before I end the video, but I think I'm just going to end the video here before it gets too long. Um, but yeah, subscribe for more videos.